All right, the last quick tutorial I'm gonna show you here is what if I wanna have a multi-track edit, one for each of the microphones? So let's see how that would work. I'm the sound editor on this project. I have two uh, talents walking through the door, two different speakers, and they're gonna use one and two. One of them has a big booming voice. One is a quieter, shyer voice. It's hard to hear them. That's something it would be really hard to mix for on a single track. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start a new project. This time, instead of us selecting one and two as our inputs, I'm going to select input one. That means that microphone one, our big booming voice, is going to have its own track, create. So they're going to be on this. In fact, I can even rename that track if it helps me. Booming. Okay. That's our bigger voice. Then up here, I'm going to click on the plus button. I'm going to select input two. And this is going to be for our quieter voice. So I'm just going to do a quick rename. So I remember which one is which. Quiet. All right, so now I've got my booming voice and my quiet voice. Now, I would like them to record at the same time. So I'd like to still hit record button, but I want to be able to mix them separately here. Well, that's great because now by having input one and input two, I can use everything I know about turning up my voices here on the uh, mixing board or the sound board and they will show up as separate mixing here and here, which lets me do a little bit more editing, turn up my volume for each voice here so I could turn my booming voice down and my quieter voice up even more, and that can be really valuable. But I've gotta get them to record together, and that's the trick. So here's what I'm gonna recommend. I hit the right click on my uh, gray screen here, so I'm right clicking in this area, and we're gonna do something called configure track header. What we wanna do is turn on record enable, and you will have to do this each time you wanna do what we're showing today. And once I've clicked record enable, what you'll see show up here is this little red and white ball. If it's red, it's going to record when I hit the record button. If it's white, it will not. Well, obviously, I want both of those to record at the same time. So you can see they're flashing and ready to go. And when I hit record, instead of us having both, both voices on the same track, turn off my metronome here. Now I'm gonna speak into the different microphones and you can see, all right, there is microphone one, our bigger booming air voice that I can turn down here's my phone too, which might be a little bit quieter. So we've got two different voices that I can now mix, change, and edit both on my soundboard and here in my virtual uh, software mixer as well. When I'm done, I can do all of the editing that I need to do by selecting individually. I want to just cut this guy out here and I can get rid of weird background sounds. Maybe that person laughed or coughed. And I can really have a great mix at the end um, controlling both voices. So something to be aware of as another way to record on GarageBand using a podcast studio.